friends. I am going to narrate one of my leela in which I got the name Dhamodran. My Yashoda was churning the curd and I was very hungry. I ran to her and asked her to feed me. My Yashoda took me on her lap and started feeding. Suddenly, the milk which was on the stove began to boil over. Just to stop the milk from spilling, my Yashoda at once put me aside and went to the stove. Left in that state by Ma, I became very angry and my lips and eyes became red in rage. I pressed my teeth and lips and taking up a piece of stone, immediately broke the butter pot. I took butter out of it and with false tears in my eyes, I began to eat the butter in a secluded place. In the meantime, my Yashoda returned to the churning place she saw the broken pot in which the churned yogurt had been kept. Since she could not find me, she concluded that the broken pot was my work. She found me sitting on a big wooden grinding mortar which was kept upside down. I was taking butter from a pot which was hanging from the ceiling on a swing and feeding it to the monkeys. Oops! I saw her coming towards me with a stick in her hand and I immediately got down from the grinding mortar and began to flee in fear. My Yashoda chased me to all corners trying to capture. When I was caught, I was almost on the point of crying. I smeared my hands over my eyes. My Yashoda then threw away her stick. In order to punish me, she thought of binding me with some ropes to the mortar. But when she tried to bind me, she found that the rope she was using was short by two inches. She gathered more ropes from the house and added to it, but still she found the same shortage. In this way, she connected all the ropes available at home, but when the final knot was added, she saw that the rope was still two inches short. In attempting to bind me, she became tired and me being compassionate upon her, I made myself submissive to be tied to the wooden mortar in my hip. Hence got the name Damodran. After binding me, my Yashoda engaged herself in household affairs. At that time, bound up to the wooden mortar, I could see a pair of trees before me which were known as Arjuna trees. There is a history behind the pair of Arjuna trees. In their previous lives, the trees were born as the human sons of Kubey and their names were Nalkuvara and Manigriva. They were cursed by the great sage Narda because of their forgetfulness due to intoxication. I thought of pulling down the two very tall Arjuna trees. I, with the mortar, was walking towards these two trees and was stuck in between these trees. With a little pull I uprooted the trees. Nalkuvara and Manigriva were free from the curse and thanked me. Many poets, saints and Akaryans have sung in praise of this incident and the divinity in the name Dhamodran. There are many Vedhantic thoughts about the milk that wanted to boil early than the usual and the curd pot which wanted to seek my grace. The famous Dhamodhara Ashtakam and few HYMS can be recited during this month. Try to donate ghee to your nearest Krishna temple. Do japa of hair Rama Hare Krishna as much as possible. And do remember these are citations in the Skanda Purana and the Padma Purana. So my dear devotees, I am waiting to shower my blessings on all of you.